How's it going, NPC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, Unknown History, Ogadai Khan. So, a lot of people don't know a lot about the successor to the Mongol Empire, the successor to Genghis Khan, or Genghis Khan, or however you want to say it. Um, but Ogadai Khan was the, I guess, not the first, second, no, the third son of um, Genghis Khan or Temujin if you want to call him that as well that's his real name not Ogadai's real name but uh, Temujin's real name um, Genghis Khan's real name is Temujin but everyone knows about Genghis Khan you know he started the Mongol Empire and stuff like that but no one knows about his successors or what his sons did his sons actually expanded Ogadai actually expanded the Mongol Empire farther than um, his father did, and I think he was there during the first or second attempt of Japan. Let me try to invade Japan. And I know he was there during, I think he was there during the invasion of China. But Ogadai Khan was the successor to his father's empire. He was the second leader of the Mongol Empire. I don't know why he was picked to be the leader. When he was the third son of the Mong third son of Genghis Khan, I think Genghis, I think it was the same way that Genghis took over the Mongol Empire is by civil war. A lot of tribe civil war happened after before Genghis became the leader, and they rallied under Genghis Khan, and he became the leader of the Mongol Empire. I don't think it's the same way with Ogadai. I think Ogadai was the leader of I think he was chosen to be the leader or he was more respected or more you know people the warriors liked him more. It's like the Sun Tzu thing. If a general likes if an army likes a certain general during like a coup or anything like that the army will go to that general side. They like the general more than the leader, you know, of your kingdom. That's basically what happened to most of the, how the Mongol Empire even started. They liked Genghis. Genghis, you know, he united them. But Ogadai was a weird uh, guy. He did lead the Mongol Empire, he did expand it farther than his father did. He did do a lot for the Mongol Empire. He just had a drinking problem. He was such a big alcoholic. Um, his own brother had an intervention for him. Yes, back then, you, his own brother had an intervention for the leader of the whole empire. Like That takes a lot of stones to do is to go past the leader. I know that's I know that's your brother, but he in back in that day that's such a big thing is go against the leader and stage a uh, intervention um, because you don't want to make the leader mad of any empire or any kingdom or anything like that, but that's what he did. He staged a intervention for his brother because his brother had such a bad drinking problem. And eventually that's what killed Ogadai. Because his brother told his servants, hey, he only gets one cup. Ogadai's like, okay, I'll listen to that. No one said how big the cup has to be, though. So he drank a barrel of alcohol, barrel of wine. Um, eventually that's what killed him, was his own lack of self-control. Um, Ogadai died of alcohol poisoning and was buried in the presumed where his father is buried in the mountains of Mongolia. Eventually they would make a tomb. Uh, he's not buried in that tomb. His his um, grave is unknown, but presumably it is the same mountains that Genghis Khan is buried at. I don't know why. No one wants to find, you know, would like to see Unlike Russia, um, Mongolia, 
you know, wants it to be a private matter. Russia, <laughs> the of uh, Vladimir Lenin died, you can literally go see his body on display. You can go see it, it's still on display. Like, it's such a weird thing to do. If I was a leader, I, I think it was more of the, tradi the traditions of the time that he wants to be in peace. He doesn't want people to come see his grave. I think that was the traditions. And two, they built a mausoleum to Genghis Khan. It's called a Genghis Khan mausoleum where a lot of his family is buried. The future leaders of the Mongol Empire were buried there. But Okadai Khan has always been interesting to me because he's the second leader of the empire, but he's the third son of Genghis and his wife. So I'm thinking Genghis handpicked him or it is that Sun Tzu rule where if the army likes the general over the leaders, they're going to more side with the general. That's how it was with Napoleon. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, press the share button, press the like button, press the red and subscribe button, press the bell so you know how to be time to upload a video. If you know more about Ogadai Khan, I'd like to learn more. Um, but press the bell so you know if I'm trying to upload a video. And press the red and subscribe button. Press the bell so you know if I'm trying to upload a video. I'll see you guys next in the next video. Goodbye.